And if you're my friends watching this, guys, skip this part. Like, and stop watching his videos at school. Like, it's embarrassing. Watch them all the time. Stop. No. Thanks, Trinity's friends. Today, we're diving into the top things to do in Broken Ball, Oklahoma. Prepare to be amazed by the jaw-dropping transformation this hidden gem has undergone, turning it into a must-visit destination for folks from all over the country. Picture this, a place where nature's beauty meets small-town charm. That's Broken Bow, Oklahoma for you. We'll explore its natural wonders and unique attractions that will leave you anxious to visit here. However, as more and more visitors flock to visit Broken Bow, a delicate balance must be struck here. One of the challenging questions for locals is how they preserve the town's natural beauty while still welcoming the growing number of adventurers. That's all in a separate video, but for this video, we're gonna dive into the top things to do in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Mike Harrison, your local realtor over in North Texas, and I've helped many clients buy and sell all over Texas. If you wanna know what it's like to work, live, and play in the Dallas Metroplex, go on, hit subscribe, support the channel, and stay tuned for videos every Sunday. To kick us off, let's go and do a quick overview of Broken Bow. Broken Bow is located in McCurtain County in the southeastern corner of Oklahoma. The town was incorporated and the post office established on September 23, 1911. It's home to all about 4,500 people, but according to PineLakeBrokenBow.com, more than 2 million people visit Broken Bow every year, and you'll see why here in a minute. And although Broken Bow is located on land that was previously owned by Choctaw, it did not get its name from local American Indian roots. Instead, it was named after Broken Bow, Nebraska, where two brothers named Herman and Fred Dirks had moved to southeastern Oklahoma to establish the Choctaw Lumber Company. In addition to being home of Broken Bow Lake, the city is a gateway for tourists visiting Beaver's Bend Resort Park, Hochatown State Park, and Cedar Creek Golf Course at Beaver's Bend. And many hunters also visit the region, which bills itself as the deer capital of the world. And I must say, every time I've driven to my cabin, whether it's this day or previous days, we see plenty of deer ourselves. Canoeing, kayaking, fishing, hiking, camping, and many other outdoor activities are available in this very popular tourist spot. And now that we've covered a quick overview of Broken Bow, let's go and check out the main things to do here. And if you've heard of this place before, go ahead and grab your hiking boots, pick up your fishing rods, and go ahead and get ready for some thrilling water sports with the crystal clear water here. As you might imagine, Broken Bow offers a major playground for outdoor enthusiasts. Also, don't miss out on immersing yourself in the local culture and savoring the mouthwatering cuisine that will tantalize your taste buds. And we'll get into our top picks for restaurants later in the video. But for starters, there's nothing really like taking a day out on the Oklahoma waters and kayaking down the Mountain Fork River here. Take a break from hiking the hills or horseback riding to explore the rivers and lake around Broken Bow on a kayaking, canoeing, or tubing adventure. This is one of my favorite experiences of visiting Broken Bow. This outfitter offers around a two and a half mile scenic flow trip down the Mountain Fork River, which takes between one to two hours of paddling on the river's calm waters. Outdoor enthusiasts can bring their own canoes and kayaks or rent on site at one of the vendors near the river. The river floats along Highway 259A in Broken Bow and offers you a quick look at what the nature looked like hundreds of years ago here. Keep an eye out for some of Broken Bow's wildlife, including deer, minks, and even bald eagles. I've personally come here for bachelor parties, boat trips, uh, a quick family vacation, or just a quick getaway with my wife. And I'm telling you, it's one of the most beautiful rivers you can float down. It's usually open between March and October, so don't expect to be able to float the river or even go canoeing down the river as it's really, really cold during the winter months here. Next on our list is visiting Beaver's Bend State Park. Beaver's Bend State Park is located along the mountainous region of Southeast Oklahoma, along the shores of Broken Bow Lake and Mountain Fork River. This is a 3,482 acre park offering 47 cabins, plus 393 campsites and over 50 tent sites spread out over eight camping areas. You'll find beautiful scenery and plenty of activities inside the state park as you travel down the winding roads through the forest of pine and hardwood trees. This is one beautiful place to visit with the family. Every time my family visit Broken Bow, we make a point to visit the state park and it makes it one of uh, Oklahoma's most popular tourist areas. Towering timbers, clear waters, and rugged terrain make this state park an outdoor lover's paradise, as you might imagine. It's July 2024 at the time of making this video, and when my family was there just yesterday, my son and I hopped in the, the river. It was incredibly refreshing. Uh, and then we swam over to like a little cliff area for him to climb up and jump off of, even though the, the danger sign said no jumping or, or climbing, but you know, you gotta do it. However, if you're visiting the state park, make sure you bring a couple lawn chairs and some water shoes because the rocks on the river floor are very tough on your feet. I, like an idiot, I forgot uh, my shoes yesterday and I went to bed, my feet were just in terrible pain. 
Visitors to Beaver's Bend State Park get to enjoy hiking, biking, boating, fishing, water skiing, nature center activities, river flow trips, canoeing, horseback riding, you name it. And trout streams are stocked year round and the park features two catch and release trophy areas. And again, like we mentioned earlier, you can escape into the serenity of nature and follow the Mountain Fork River as it flows from the base of Broken Bow Lake through the park below. This area provides visitors with spectacular views as well as some great fishing and canoeing spots. And nestled among the trees and alongside the Mountain Fork River are rustic and modern cabins, RV sites and tent campsites, as well as two group camps. And one of my next favorite things to do in Broken Bow is visiting the Maze of Hochatown. This is a great maze to visit and try to solve with the family. Right off 259, there are five posts you must stamp to finish the maze, and it should take about an hour to complete. It's incredibly fun, fairly challenging, and is also right next to a mini golf course. I must say the folks at the front desk told us it usually takes about an hour to hour and a half to finish or solve the maze. Uh, so instinctively, my competitive juices were going off, and so the family and I finished it in about 42 minutes. My 7 to 12-year-old, my wife, and my 7-year-old dad and I finished it within 42 minutes and even let our kids lead the way several times. But who's counting, though? There are several other places you're going to want to visit when you visit Broken Bow, including Mountain Fork Brewery, Beaver's Bend Brewery, Hochertown Petting Zoo, the local golf course, and several others, but these are the main ones for us. As far as places to eat and have a couple adult beverages, here are a few of our favorite restaurants here. We cannot cover Broken Bow food without mentioning the best pizza in the land over at Grateful Head. This spot was inspired by the fellowship of Deadheads, fans and followers of the band The Grateful Dead, and two brothers wanted to share the experience of all the joy and fun of a live Grateful Dead show. That dream was found in the bones of an old abandoned schoolhouse in the Wachita Mountains. And let me tell you, I am not exaggerating when I say this is the best pepperoni pizza that I've ever had. Every time my family and I visit Broken Bow, it's a place we must stop at. And while you're there, you'll see several other families. It's pretty packed uh, of other families thinking the same thing. Not only is the pizza delicious, but the music creates a great vibe while you're enjoying the food. This is right off 259, and now there is another location in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And then another place you're gonna wanna visit, I actually just got back here at the time of filming this video. It's like one o'clock. I just got back here from uh, this spot just a few minutes ago. Uh, it's over at the Broken Bow Saloon. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, a live concert, you name it, this is the place to be. While I've never personally seen a show here, we always visit for their crazy good pancakes and breakfast menu. We took my dad here yesterday for the first time and then again today, and he felt the same way. The pancakes are huge, have plenty of butter, syrup, and just the right amount of warmth to them. It does have a saloon vibe to it, so if you'd rather visit in the evenings or catch a show, it's worth a stop. The back has plenty of space to enjoy a live band or have a cold beer. Another must-see is over at Girls Gone Wine. Now, I personally haven't ever visited here, but my wife and her friends have enjoyed it quite a bit, and it stays packed throughout the summers. This is a small boutique winery, lounge, and gift shop featuring local vintages that allow dogs and has outdoor seating. This started from three girls that decided a winery would be a fun gathering place for groups of friends. Founded in 2005, next thing you know, it's one of the most popular spots in Broken Bow, right over there off 259 across from the Grateful Head. Our other place that we always stop at is over at Abendigo's, again, right down the street from the previous two restaurants I've mentioned. We actually just ate there last night. Great food, highly recommend their buffalo chicken sandwich, and it has a good vibe indoors and outdoors in the back to catch a live acoustic show. This, like many of our other favorite stops, again, is right off 259 as well. It is a little bit on the pricier side, so do be prepared. If you're gonna visit there or have, have some food there, be prepared for it to be one of the more expensive options in Broken Bow. And our last uh, you know, top thing to do, might sound a little off, but it's actually just relaxing at the amazing cabins that the folks have here. If you're more of a recluse and don't wanna get out in the local scene or maybe too scared of uh, tubing down the, the river, you're in for a treat at these incredible cabins. The wide variety of cabin options here make it where if you didn't wanna get out on 259, you can still have plenty of fun at your cabins. Spend a few minutes on Airbnb or VRBO and you'll quickly see that the cabin owners do not play around here. The architecture, creativity, interior design, and outdoor amenities of many of these cabins make the price well worth it to stay for a few days. Whether it's a back porch nestled in the woods with an outdoor TV, hot tub, and gas fireplace, or seating area around a fire pit, or a playground for the kids, or even a professionally installed outdoor basketball and tennis court, 
These cabins have it all. Pricing on these cabins can range anywhere from $80 a night to as high as several hundred dollars per night. So guys, quick and to the point on this video, that's gonna wrap it up on our top things to do in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. From the stunning natural landscapes to the vibrant local culture, this destination is a paradise for nature lovers and thrill seekers alike. So don't miss out on experiencing the best of what this town has to offer. And we have some special guests on the video today. You've seen Jackson on these videos before, and this is my daughter's first time to visit. Um, Jackson, what's been your favorite part of visiting Broken Bow? The saloon. The saloon? That, I don't know if I sound like the, the best parent with that kind of answer. Tell me why you like the saloon. Because that breakfast, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. What's your favorite part about the breakfast? What's your favorite food? The pancakes. I told you, those pancakes, they, they slap. All right, Trinity, what's your, <laughs> what's your favorite part of visiting Broken Bow? Beaver's Bend State Park. Okay, and what's your favorite part about visiting Beaver's Bend State Park? Um, I don't know, it's just fun. I don't know, it's just fun. And if you like hearing a seven-year-old and a 12-year-old's experience of visiting Broken Bow, you know what to do. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Make sure to see the whole video. There you go. And if you're my friends watching this, guys, skip this part, like, and stop watching his videos at school. Why, like, it's embarrassing. Watch them all the time. Just stop. No. Thanks, Trinity's friends. And if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you ever have any questions about Broken Bow or maybe consider purchasing one of these cabins, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. All of my contact info is pinned in the top comment below, and I'll make sure that my team is ready to take care of you. Do me a favor, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. And lastly, if you want to see what another great North Texas suburb is like, check out this video by clicking here.